Nothing's better than some boiled peanuts. Welcome back to the Four Seasons. I'm your host, Ken Johnson. Today, we're going to be boiling some peanuts because, you know, it's getting to be fall. Uh, a little chilly here in Northwest Florida, you know, 60 degrees. Uh, and that means it's peanut season here. Now, when I was a child, you could get boiled Valencia peanuts. They grew Valencia peanuts everywhere. Now they're using the white peanuts. And so white peanuts are more difficult. They don't have the flavor. Um, it's just culture's changing. But I'm gonna show you a way that you can actually boil peanuts at home. Now I'm gonna let you know, everything, you know, every group of peanuts that you buy from year to year, from farm to farm, they're going to have a different degree of toughness to them. And so, uh, I won't lie, I, I started off, you know, every 45 minutes checking this. It took over six hours, you know, for these peanuts to be done. So, I'm, I just want to let you know, it can take a while. So, be aware of that. Uh, but let's um, go ahead and show how I did my bowl of peanuts. Alrighty, I've got a three gallon pot and I filled it halfway, so roughly a, a gallon and a half of water already hot. Now I'm going to add in salt. And the idea is that you add salt until it tastes like seawater. So we'll start that next. So this right here is one cup of salt going in. Alright, so now the salt water is ready. We're going to add in just shy of three pounds of peanuts, which is roughly about a gallon bag. And then we're going to let this boil for about 45 minutes, and then we'll start tasting them. These are the white peanuts. Um, I'd rather have Valencia peanuts, but they just don't grow them here a lot. So... Uh, it's not going to have as good a flavor, but it'll still work. So I do want to mention that if you wanted to, you could put some Cajun seasoning in here, crab oil, whatever, and that would give you a uh, Cajun spicy flavor if you wanted that. This is for my wife, and my wife likes some regular. So this is just the Northwest Florida way of doing it. I recommend that you use regular salt. Do not use rock salt. Rock salt has a lot of potassium in it. In fact, I use rock salt in my gardening because it's safe to garden with. Uh, but it can cause a lot of problems if you get too much potassium in your diet. So don't use rock salt. Use regular non-iodized salt and you'll be fine. Something I will say, I do love the smell of green peanuts. That is just a smell that I've, I associate with Northwest Florida in the fall. It is something that I dearly love. And if you ever want to know what green peanuts smell like, get you some raw asparagus and just um, take a bite out of it. It tastes like green peanut smell. So that should help you a little bit if, you, if you're not used to having green peanuts in your area of the world. One thing about it, we do eat good around here. I've added some water because um, it water evaporated out. And we got about 15 minutes left on the timer. I checked some of these. It's always important to check your food. I checked one of these. It needs a good 30 minutes boil. So um, what I'll do is add 15 minutes to my timer and come back in 30 minutes and we'll see how they're coming along. Okay, so we're gonna let these cook for another 45 minutes. I wasn't happy with the texture of them. So I added some more water and we'll just keep cooking them until they're done. 
you want to be soft. That's the main thing. And every pot of peanuts is totally different. So you just have to cook them according to what the peanuts want. Okay, so these are being notoriously difficult as usual. So what I've done is I've added a lot more water because they're getting a little bit too salty for my taste. So I've just added water all the way up to the top and these are going to cook for another 45 minutes. So you just keep cooking them until they're tender. I like them nice and soft. I'm talking about the inside of the peanut. The outside will never get soft. Um, but the inside peanut will be nice and soft and creamy when it's done. Okay, I've still got these boiling. Got them going for another 45 minutes. So, they're just not wanting to get cooked. Okay, so I've added some more water to this. And these will cook for at least another 45 minutes because they're still not ready. It is now midnight and these have just now finished cooking. I actually had to leave these on about, I would say, 30 minutes longer than what was expected um, from this last time. But they're ready now. So next thing we're going to do is pull these out. I'm going to rinse them off in a colander and then um, they're ready to eat. So roughly six hours of cooking later, they're done. Now all you gotta do is eat them. And trust me, they are delicious. I hope you enjoyed that um, video of how me doing the peanuts. Why well, I did not show, if for some reason, your peanuts become a little salty because you know, you start off with the flavors of seawater. That's how salty you want it to be. And let's say that you, um, you know, it boils down, it boils down, and then you add more water, and for whatever reason, eh, it gets a little too salty. What you can do, take your boiled peanuts, drain them, get all the salt water out and then fill it with fresh water and toss them back into boiling fresh water and just boil them for about five minutes or so. What that will do is shock out any salt that might be extra in the peanuts. They'll still be salty. Don't get me wrong. You want a salty peanut, but you don't want to be so salty it like burns your tongue. You know how much, you know, like too salty but you want it to be flavorful. And so it'll give you a flavorful peanut. Also in this, you can add in, you know, crab bowl, liquid crab bowl, whatever. You can add a ton of flavorings in there and it'll take on those flavorings. So you can do that as well. You make your own peanut the way you want. Well, if you haven't already, um, if you like this content, hit thumbs up. I, I really would appreciate it. Comment down below um, if you've ever made boiled peanuts or you plan to boil peanuts or if you have boiled peanuts. Um, those comments and those likes really help the channel. And um, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that notification bell so you can get alerted to future content. And I will see you again next time. Bye.